Okay, hello and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Beaver at Home Edition. Woo! Okay, so your basic setup is you're gonna have a little runway here. You're gonna be marking three meters, you're gonna be marking six meters, and you're gonna be marking nine meters away from the starting line, which is right here. This is where you will leave from and come back to for every trial. Now I'm going to explain the point system. So we have two kinds of balls here. We have red balls and we have blue balls. The red balls are worth five points, but the blue balls are worth eight points. So they're much more valuable. That's the point. Now if you don't have balls at home, then you can use anything like a stuffed penguin, a stuffed dolphin, or a spike ball. All of these are valuable props that can be used in lieu of real colored balls for your point system. So very first, trial one. You will need to gather a baseline. Now every trial is going to consist of three trips. So normally we do this in a relay where you have four people. You have three people running the relay. If I'm runner one, I'm going to get a ball and go back. Tag runner two and so on. Whereas the fourth person is timing the length of the whole trial. Your first trial, you're gonna get a baseline. So you're gonna figure out how long it takes for you to run three meters, pick up a ball, run back, and put it down. That's gonna be your baseline. Okay, off you go. Okay, so you're gonna get your baseline for all three lengths from the starting line. You're gonna get a baseline for three meters for six meters and for nine meters. Once you finish getting your baseline, you're gonna go into your first game. Now, the objective for all of these games is to maximize the number of points that you collect for all three trials and maximize points over seconds spent getting those points. That's profitability and that is good cost-benefit analysis on the part of the beaver. Now, for trial one of game one, we are gonna have all six balls put at the three meter mark, as you can see. Now, go ahead. Our hungry beaver goes, and he has to make a choice to select <laughs> the ball. Remember that the blue balls are worth eight points and the red ones are worth five. So, which ones do you think the beaver's gonna choose? There you go, that's a smart beaver. Welcome to game one, trial two. Now our first trial was fairly simple, but for this one we've added a little bit of complexity. So as you can see, in our first three meter mark, we have the three five point balls all ready for the beaver. Now at our six meter mark, we have the three eight point balls. The dilemma is, is it more profitable to go after the higher scoring balls, or will it waste too much time for the energy that could have been claimed? Now, I have a wonderful imaginary stopwatch here. I'm going to show you how, what this looks like. Go! Oh, now our beaver has a choice to make. Is he going to go for the more points, or is he going to go for the less time? We will see. Of course, if you were really smart, he would have planned ahead and known which balls he was going to go for before he started his trial. All right, so now we're going to play game two, trial two for double trouble. And the variable we're adding is the predator. Say hello, predator. Urgh. He's a little shy. He's a little camera shy. Anyway, so we have the same setup as the previous trial where we have the more valuable balls on the six meter mark, the less valuable on the three meter mark, but with a twist. If I'm the beaver, and I run out. The second I touch the ball, the predator <laughs> can take off and tag me. If the predator tags me, then I lose all of the points gained by the ball that I picked up. And I have to go back to the starting line and start my second trial. The clock keeps ticking. Oh good, I didn't lose that ball. Anyway, trial two.